good evening students we are given that 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 to the power of 2x multiplying 2 plus 1 is equals to the product of 72 and 1 plus 2 to the power of minus x you are required to find the values of x so you see x is in bracket that means it may be one or it may be more than one value of x one values of x that satisfy the equation so the first thing you have to do is to assign a new variable to simplify it assign a new variable to simplify the equation so let the new variable be x let it be sorry let it be y so this implies power of 2 plus 2y plus 1 is equals to 72 in bracket 1 plus you know this is in box, this is the same as 1 over 2 raised to power x so from here have in this case have 1 over y so the next thing is to multiply each multiply the equation by y to clear the fraction so multiplying this equation by y if we multiply the equation by y we have that is the only equation by y you have y raised to power 3 plus 2y squared plus y is equals to 72y in bracket 1 plus 1 over y so opening bracket here we have 72y plus 72 so from here we have to arrange the equation in one side of the arrange the terms in one side of the equation mainly from the left so all of this coming to the left you have y raised to power 3 plus 2y squared plus y minus 72y minus 72 is equals to 0 so what is the next thing you have to do simplify in this case you have 3 in this case in this case you have y raised to power 3 y raised to power 3 plus 2y squared minus 71 y minus 72 is equals to 0 so let us um, solve from here how do we simplify from that point how do we simplify from this point so from here to find the root of the equation we have to use the method of trial and improvement method trial and improvement method improvement method so in that case we can say let y equals to 1 so in this case by factor factor theorem by factor theorem if if y minus 1 y minus 1 is a factor a factor of is a factor of f of y that is f of y which is this value here it's a factor of f of y which is this value here then in that case you have f in bracket when y is equal to 1 the result is equal to 0 So, if y minus 1 is a factor of f of y, which is this uh, function here, cubic function, then if y is equal to 1, is the root of the uh, cubic function, the result will be equal to 0. That is, substituting y equals to 1 in this equation, 
will give us equals to zero. So to prove whether it is a fun, uh, whether it is a, a a root to this equation, we have to substitute it in this equation. So in this case, whatever you see, y, we put one. So we have one raised to power three. One raised to power three plus two in bracket one raised to power two minus seventy one multiplying one minus seventy two. So solve it. So here you have one plus two minus seven to one minus seventy two. So what do you have? So from here, one minus seven to one will give us minus seven. Plus two minus seventy two will give us minus seven. So we have what minus one forty. You see that therefore minus one forty is not equal to zero. Therefore, um, therefore, y minus one is not a factor of f of y. That is this function. It is not its factor. So, the next thing we have to do is the next thing we have to do is to check for. Um, we have check for plus one. Let's check for y plus one. So this is not a factor of this. So let's let let y equals to minus one. So that so that y plus one is a a factor of f of y so if it is factor if you substitute it in that equation if the result give us equals to zero then it is a factor if it's a factor of so that y plus one is a factor of this then f of y minus one minus one will give us zero if it's actually a factor based on factor theory so to prove it we have to wherever we see why we put minus one in the equation wherever we see why we do what we put minus one so from here have minus one raised to power three plus two minus one squared minus seven to one minus one minus seventy two so from here minus one to the power of three give us minus one here minus one to the power of two is plus one times two give us two minus minus seventy one times minus one will give us plus seventy one minus seventy two so what do you have that give us minus one plus seventy one will give us um, seventy plus two minus seventy two will give us minus seventy so that give us zero therefore y plus one is a factor a factor of f of y and that is this equation it's a factor of this equation so that is the first where we are now so let's bring this thing up so y raised to power 3 plus 2 y squared minus 7 to 1 y minus 72 is equals to 0 and we had that y plus 1 is a factor so let's clean here the next thing is to see if we can get other factors of this equation remember how we arrive at using the value of y remember how we arrive using the y as a substitute we say that let 2 raised to power x 2 raised to power x is equals to y so this is where we started and now we have already gotten one value 
one factor of our new equation to be equals to y plus one so the next thing is to factorize this completely using a long division to find other factors use what a long division to find the other factors of the equation long division so by long division let's put here y raised to power 3 plus 2 y squared minus 7 to 1 minus 72 so you have y plus 2 so the next thing is using long division so y raised to power 3 divided by y will give us y squared y squared times y will give us y raised to power 3 y times 1 will give us y squared you subtract so subtracting y raised to power 3 minus y raised to power 3 will give us 0 2y squared minus y squared will give us what? y squared so you bring other factors down so from here you have to simplify further y squared divided by y will give us y y times y will give us y squared y times 1 will give us plus y so you minus again so y squared minus y squared is equal to 0 minus 71y minus y will give us minus 72y minus 72 so from here minus 72y divided by y will give us minus 72 minus 72 times y will give us minus 72y minus 72 times 1 will give us minus 72 so from here you subtract subtracting you have minus 72 minus minus 72y here will give us 0 minus 72 minus minus 72 will give us 0 so 0 plus 0 is 0 that leads us to another factor of this equation therefore y squared plus y minus 72 is a factor of this function it's a factor of the function so we can clean here we have gotten another function now there are two functions no, sorry another factor of the given a function we are solving notice that i'm not calling it equation i'm only expressing the function here I know that is equation so now I have gotten another another factor of this function you notice that this we can still simplify it we can still factorize it completely so what does that mean it means that y plus 1 y squared plus y minus 72 is equal to 0 and this value here is equal to this value so let us solve this one to do that we have y squared plus y minus 72 is equal to 0 so let's factorize this completely factorize completely so how do we factorize completely so find two terms if you multiply the two terms it will be equal to the product of the first and the last term and if you add that two terms it will be equal to the the value of the second term so notice that minus plus 9y minus 8y is equal to plus y and my plus 9y times minus 8y is equal to the product of the first and the, and the last minus 72y squared so these are the two values you needed plus 9y and the what and minus 8y so replace it replace plus y with this so from here you have y squared 
plus 9y minus 8y minus 72 is equals to 0. So factorize you have y in bracket y plus 9 minus 8 in bracket y plus 9. So here you have equals to 0. So factorize for I have y plus 9 y minus 8 is equals to 0. Now we have factorized completely. We can come to this equation. We can call this equation S. The 13th equation X, when I, wherever we see this value, we substitute this. When I have y plus 1, y plus 9, y minus 8 is equals to 0. So we can clean here. Any question? So from here, we can now bring these values up. Let's bring all this up and then equate each of the factors to zero. So bringing it up, we have y plus one, y plus nine, y minus eight is equals to zero. So from here, if weight each of the factors to zero. So from here, have y plus one equals to zero, y plus nine equals to zero, or y minus eight is equals to zero. So recall, recall that y is equals to two raised to the power x. So but you have to simplify this further. Plus one going to the other side, have y equals to minus one. Or plus 9 going to the other side have y equals to minus 9 or plus 8 going to the other side have y equals to 8 so replace whatever you see y you put 2 raised to power x if you have 2 raised to power x is equals to minus 1 or 2 raised to power x equals to minus 9 or 2 raised to power x is equals to 8 so what is the next thing to do Notice that the values that give us minus, we can no longer work on them. Notice that we can work on this too. Because we can find the value of x. 2 raised to the power x is not equal to minus, minus 1 or minus 9. So we're left with this. And from here, we know that 2, 8 is the same as 2 raised to the power 3. Equal base cancel out. Equal base cancel out. Since equal base cancel out, what will happen to x? You equate the powers. Once equal base cancel out, how that x is equal to 3. So that is the only value of x that satisfies the equation. x is equal to what? 3. That is the only value of x which satisfy the equation. Therefore, x is equal to 3. You can check it for external solution. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, before you go, click the subscribe button to encourage me to bring more videos for your view. Like and share so that others will see it and also enjoy what I'm giving to you free. Notification button whenever there is new update, you'll be the first person to receive it. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Bye for now.